In this video, I'd like to talk about finding the solutions of inequalities when you have a graph. And taking a look at this problem, basically this graph was formed from a linear inequality because you have this line. Notice it's a solid line. It's not dashed. That's a slightly separate scenario. And we have everything shaded in below that line. So if you were to find the equation of the line, notice it has a y-intercept of minus 2. And if we found the slope, notice it goes down 3 and over 4. So we can say the slope is minus 3 fourths. Its y-intercept is minus 2. And comparing it to our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, the equation of this line would just be y is equal to minus 3 fourths x minus 2. And you can verify that by just plugging in points on the line. Like if you plug in negative 4, these cancel, and the negative cancels, you get 3 minus 2, which is positive 1. So this is the equation of that solid line, but the inequality is slightly different. Because with an inequality, it's no longer going to be an equal sign. It's going to be either greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. And for this scenario, since we're looking at below the line, it's going to be less than or equal to. And the reason it's also equal to is because the line is solid. Recall just a moment ago, I said that it's a slightly different scenario when the line is dashed. That's where you're dealing with one of these. So these are going to be dashed lines. And likewise, these greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, these will be solid lines. Now, you don't necessarily need to know how to graph these yet. At this point, you just want to know, is this point a solution to your inequality? And for the most part, it's fairly straightforward to determine that graphically. But we also want to consider the bigger picture. So while this is the equation of the line, the inequality, since we're shading below, the y value will be less than the line. And we have minus 3 fourths x minus 2. And again, it's less than or equal to because we have a solid line. And that just means that points on the line are also included in the inequality. So to determine if our point is a solution, well, we just need to graph this point. So let's try and find it at 1. So here's 1 and negative 4. Excuse me, that's negative 1. So here's 1 and go down to negative 4, which is right there. And since it's in this shaded region, this is a solution of this graphed inequality. So the answer to this is yes. Now, numerically or algebraically, we can plug it into this equation too and see if it's true. Since we know that x is 1 and y is negative 4, so let's plug those in. And we get that negative 4 is less than or equal to 1 times minus 3 fourths. So that's just minus 3 fourths, minus 2. And we can make this 8 fourths so that we can actually subtract these. And so that would be minus 4 less than or equal to minus 11 fourths. But 11 fourths is really just 2 and 3 fourths. So we have minus 2 and 3 fourths. And this is true. Minus 4 is less than or equal to minus 2 and 3 fourths. So you can see it graphically that it's true. It's in that shaded blue region. But you can also see it algebraically if you were to know the, the inequality. Now, like I mentioned, this is a little bit more advanced. This is a skill that you'll get to soon. But for now, it does help to kind of have that bigger picture, connecting the inequality to the graph. So let's move on to the next one. Since in most of these, you're just going to plot the point and see if it's in this blue shaded region. Now, again, we could try and figure out this equation. It's got a y-intercept of 6. Now we're shading everything above the line, so it's going to be greater than. And it's a solid line, so greater than or equal to. And again, it goes through a y-intercept of 6, so we'll have plus 6. But it looks like we go down 6 over 3, so that's a slope of minus 2. So this would be our inequality that we have graphed here. But really, we just have to plot this point. So 1, 3. So 1, 3 is right there. And notice, it's not in that shaded region. So no is the answer to our question. And again, you can see this algebraically as well. Like if we were to plug in 
an x value of 1 and a y value of 3, you'll see something that doesn't make sense. So if we put 3 there, greater than or equal to minus 2 times 1, that's just minus 2, plus 6. So 3 is bigger than or equal to 4. But obviously this is, is not true. 3 is always less than 4. So this does not make sense, which is why you see this point not in the shaded region, because it's not a part of this inequality. So no is the answer for this one, and let's keep going. Now this one, we can just start by plotting the point, and is it part of this solution set? So we have an x value of 5 and a y value of 0, that's right here. Now this one's tricky because it's right on the border. So at this point, if it's a dashed line, that means points on the border are not included. But since it's a solid line, that means every point on the border is included as well. So this one is a yes. Now, again, you could get the equation of this, or the inequality, I should say. It's less than or equal to because we're shading below. It's equal to because of the solid line has a y-intercept of 5, and it goes down 5 over 5, so that's a slope of minus, minus 1. And you can plug this in to check it this way as well. So x is 5, y is 0, and it simplifies to that 0 is less than or equal to 0. And for all the points on the border, you're going to end up with something like this. Maybe that 4 is bigger than or equal to 4, or minus 2 is less than or equal to minus 2. But the borderline cases all look like this, but these are all true because of this equal sign. So let's do one more of these. And in this one, we actually have a dashed line. So let's just start by plotting the point. Is minus 4 comma minus 5 a solution of the inequality? So here's minus 4. We go down to minus 5. And notice this is on the border. But relative to the last one, that one had a solid line. And so if it was a solid line, then points on the border would be a solution. But since it's a dashed line, that means points on the border are not included. So this answer is going to be no. But again, you want to be eventually comfortable with coming up with the inequality yourself and checking it algebraically. It's another way to check your work. So notice it's got this y-intercept of 3, and we're shading above the line so it'll be greater than but not equal to because it's a dashed line so y is greater than and again our y-intercept is three and notice our slope if we compare this point and this point it goes up two over one so our slope is going to be positive two and if we plug in our point x is minus four y is minus five we have that minus five is bigger than two times minus four that's minus eight plus three and minus 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So we have that minus 5 is bigger than minus 5. Well, obviously this isn't true since minus 5 and minus 5 are equal. It can't be bigger than itself. So this doesn't make sense, which is, again, why this is not a solution.